Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS device, we are going over privacy settings. There are a few options within the settings app here that will allow you to enable or disable apps to access various parts of your personal information, including your contacts, your photos, and your location. The apps that access your location actually do have an effect on your battery life. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to disable some of those and help save your battery life a bit. First, you want to go ahead and go into the settings app here. And once you're in settings, you want to scroll down until you see privacy. This is a new section in iOS 6 and it contains all the settings for apps and your privacy. So let's go ahead and tap on that. And once we're in here, you'll see there's various categories, location services, contacts, calendars, reminders, photos, Bluetooth sharing, Twitter, and Facebook. So we're going to go ahead and look at location services here. And when you tap on that, you see I have a huge list of apps that are allowed to access my location at any given time. Most of them only access your location when you open the app, but you can tell which ones have recently used your location. As you can see, there's a little legend here below, and it says that a purple location services icon will appear next to an item that has recently used your location. A gray location services icon will appear next to an item that has used your location within the last 24 hours. And then we have an outlined one that will appear next to an item that is using a geofence. Now, typically you'd only see that geofence in the Find My Friends app, but there are other apps I'm sure that also will use a geofence. So as you can see here, the camera roll has used my location in the last 24 hours, but you can also turn these off. If you don't want camera to access your location, well, then you can turn that off. But you can see though, things like Shop Savvy, something that I used just earlier today, accessed my location. Now when they access your location, they are draining your device's battery. Whether it's a small amount or a large amount, they do have an impact on your battery when they're able to access your location. So those are just a few things to keep in mind there inside of the location services tab. Now if we go back to privacy here, you can see that there are applications that are allowed to access my contacts. Currently, there's only a few of them in this list and I only have one of them enabled. You may have more or less, but it really depends on what apps you have installed on your device. Also right here is photos. So any application in this list also has access to my photos technically at any given time, but usually they only call upon photos when you are going to upload a photo to say Instagram or Facebook. So they rarely do things without your permission, but it's important to check these and make sure that everything you would like to access your photos is in this list. And the ones that you would not like to access your photos are turned off there just like that. So that is an overview of the privacy settings here. You also may have applications in calendars, reminders, and Bluetooth sharing, but I do not have any applications in those on my device. And then we do have Twitter and Facebook. And these are all applications authorized by Twitter to access your Twitter information. Same with Facebook here, but I do not have Facebook set up on iOS 6. So let me know what you guys think down below. How do you manage your privacy settings on your iOS device? Thanks again for watching everyone. This is Dom and have a great day.